Hello everyone, my name is Ishmael and, and welcome to today's video. And of course in today's video, I uh, just looked at a scripture, you know, in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 21. I once shared about this a little bit, but I think if I recall well, it was a very short video. And there, uh, as you saw by the titling of today's video, I, I'm talking about a wake up call, you know. I got to realize as I was reading that scripture in Genesis about the story of Haggai. And what happened when she was chased out by Sarah? She was chased out and then along the way she didn't even have water to drink as well as the child Ishmael didn't have anything to drink. So but then the Lord ended up saying that he's going to fulfill, do great things in Ishmael's life. You know, he had assured Haggai that if you didn't know that, read the scripture because people, they like talking about the promised child, uh, but they like over... I have never for all my life as a Christian, I've never had anyone except for my own mother recalling the good things that the Lord will say about Ishmael. They always overlook, you know, they chose, they choose to see what they want to see, but they don't realize that Ishmael was also plan or part of God's plan. The Lord has protected Ishmael many times, even in chapter 16, you can check. When at first she was chased away, when she was still pregnant, the Lord told her to go back and submit to Sarah. That later that child is going to be made uh, a great nation out of Ishmael. You know, chapter 21 is the same thing. Just read it there. You see from verse 17, 18, 19 there. Read it. So this shows God had special plans. As much as he was not the promised child based on making, multiplying Israel. Still, Ishmael was a plan, like was a child of God's plan. That's one thing you must understand. I'm not defending him because it's my name or even if that's the case but i'm defending him based on the scriptures so he was a child of plan okay so the lord made the point ishmael could have died he would have they wouldn't have been there but the lord made it to be there but people now they are overlooking that guy and they're overlooking him as if like but god wanted it to be the case he said it many times straight the bible you'll see what i'm talking about but here one of the main things that i want you to realize is what the lord did as sarah had given up as sarah had thought that the child is going to die she tried to look away then the lord the bible says in verse 19 the lord opened up her eyes and she saw a well of water and she gave a boy a drink because god wanted him to survive so he managed to survive due to that water but look at this here i want you to look at this same thing which was done back then with elisha when his seven thought that they were dead, and the Bible says that Elisha was like, Lord, open up his eyes. And then he saw an army of angels around. Allow me to tell that the Lord God Almighty has a way of opening eyes. A wake up call. There are many people today, they're supposed to be married, but their eyes are closed. And that different things that closes people's eyes, sometimes there comes a counterfeit. Sometimes you don't realize what you have until it's gone. You tend to regret at the end of the day. Our eyes are closed in different ways. And sometimes it's not by deliberately, but it's just the situation, you know. Sometimes you're stuck in the wrong rela relationship where it's toxic. You don't realize this person is not good for you. That person is mistreating you. You don't realize, but then you stay there. Until one day you'll be like, I was such a fool. What was I still doing there? Why did I have to stay there? That's when your eyes are being opened up. The Lord is opening many people's eyes today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray you with this video, may somebody's eyes be opened. Someone who's supposed to be with you, but they don't realize they're being deceived, they're looking aside. May their eyes be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. May they realize what they're missing out. God Almighty was able to open the eyes of Hagar and she saw a well of water. So what does this mean? what we need the most is our eyes to be opened what are the things which in which our eyes are being closed many times we think we are seeing what we are seeing and we know what we are seeing and we are sure about what we're seeing but we're not seeing what is there really we are missing out we are blinded but we don't realize haven't they realized some people even if friends can come family can come and warn you and all you don't see it until one time when you're seated you are like what it's been eight months. It's been a year. It's been two years. Why couldn't I see this all along? Why couldn't I see the 
obvious. There are many people who give people other people advices. But you say you find that when it comes to your marital life, it doesn't work out well. It's bad. They don't do well. You know, when it comes to their marital life, they are so bad at the judging their own marital life. They are so bad. But you are one and why they have such good advices. It seems they live seem like those people who can't take any nonsense, who just go straight to the thing. But you wonder why can't they do it in their own thing? We need our eyes to be opened. Somebody's eyes are being opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody who's supposed to be with you, they don't see you. And no matter what you're doing, no matter the good that how good how good you're treating them, they don't see it. This is very common. Hallelujah. They don't see the good, how you're treating them. I know many people today are so regretting, are so hurting, are so, ha, huh, they wish they could have done something different. Be like, what? In fact, they don't wish they could have done something different. They realize the best that they gave, but it never gave them back anything. But allow me to tell you, it's because of the people whom you're with, but it's because their eyes are being closed. No matter what you do, no matter how you talk to them. Until God Almighty open their eyes, they won't see it. Let me tell you, you'll be trapped in a situation at times where you feel like all hope is lost. And only God can open up your eyes. Just like how he was able to do so with the eyes of Hagar. Hallelujah. Sometimes you might be at a point where you are giving up. But your eyes are going to be opened up. Somebody today who's supposed to be married with you. They don't realize how they are missing out. They don't realize the delay. But the Lord is going to give grace for them to realize your worth, your value, that they're supposed to be with you. Hallelujah. It needs God to intervene. It does not need you to convince them. Sometimes no matter what you do, you might spoil them, treat them right, try to be obedient and be sub, you know, show them respect and love everything that the person needs to, to be happy. But they won't see it. Until God opens their eyes. And I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody may they see. May their marriage not pass them by. Somebody is supposed to be with their audience. Supposed to be married. To be now building a family. But they can't see it. Let there be a wake up call. In the name of Jesus Christ. May this also be your prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that God gives them a wake up call. And they see your value. In Jesus' mighty name, may their eyes be open and they see, here is my, my spouse, my kingdom spouse. And then it comes together. Let this be your prayer. I'm giving somebody a weapon. Somebody is going to see changes in Jesus' mighty name. If you are, you are not approachable, you're going to be approachable. If you couldn't notice her, you're going to notice her in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Amen. And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Remember to check our brand new channel, The Gospel with Ishmael. The link is on the description of the video below. And remember to be a born again Christian if you had been excluded or no longer sure of your salvation. Really dedicate your life into the your life into the Lord Jesus Christ. Reinvite him back into your heart. Invite the Holy Spirit to come guide and lead you. And if you enjoyed today's video, like it, share it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And for testimonies, prayer requests, or spiritual advices. DM me on my Instagram or email me the detail on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.